Hey guys, Josh here again. Today I have a really special video for you. I'll be giving you a recap of the East Coast Slingshot Tournament 2016. Hope you enjoy. So we ended up getting there on Thursday afternoon and uh, it doesn't officially start until Friday so the range wasn't set up or anything but uh, I still had a great time going around saying hi to everybody and we still got a ton of shooting in actually just shooting at cans and stuff on the ground and uh, on the catch box inside the uh, uh, sportsman's club and just we had a ton of fun on Thursday so I'm really glad I went because it's honestly you don't get a whole lot of time on Sunday so Thursday is kind of another day to play without having to worry of the competition and everything so that was a blast and uh, then on Friday we got there at uh, about 10 30 and I think it was around 10 30 and the range was all set up and there was a ton of people down there and it's just so cool to see so many people shooting slingshots it's just it's a sight that uh, you don't get to see very often so that's so cool just to drive up and to see everyone down at the range and then after getting there on Friday since it's the first official day of the competition um, I went in and signed up and paid the $25 I think it is um, to do the comp and then and that covers ammo and everything as well and then you get your targets and your scorecard and everything and that's always exciting it feels real at that point that you're actually competing and then uh, yeah just lots of practicing on Friday lots of fun and I ended up shooting I think I shot my standard 10 yard target uh, sometime on Friday uh, right right around lunchtime and that went pretty well I was shooting pretty good I had four shots that went low that really didn't need to have gone low just didn't quite pull it back quite enough or didn't raise it quite to the target and just that little slight hesitation and um, or the little just releasing it just a tad too early was all it took so I really could have done better on that but I was happy with my shot group and everything so that was alright and then we ended up going in to do the woods course later on that day and that was all that was a blast it's always a blast it's so cool to shoot kind of quasi 3d targets it's a lot like an archery 3d course but they're with little metal targets and basically if you hear the ding you get a point and uh, there's 30 targets and a bonus target and I did pretty well on that I got um, 26 out of 30 I believe and then I missed the bonus so 26 out of 31 uh, which was a pretty good score I think I tied with Ray shot and uh, Travis and all of them um, I think the only person that got a better score than that was Dan Ambrosius, who got a 27, actually. Um, so yeah, I did pretty good on the woods course, and it's just always a ton of fun. And then I ended up getting one out of five on the 70-yard gong, and then I actually went five for five on the 40-yard gong, which I was super happy about. Kind of made up for my uh, screw-ups on the 70-yard. And yeah, the woods course is just it's probably the best part of the weekend, honestly. And then uh, the rest of Friday, just doing a ton of shooting, ton of practicing. I knew I had to shoot the rest of my competition targets on Saturday. So I was doing lots of practice from 10 yards and, and just shooting with everybody, doing little comp little mini competitions and challenges, you know, and uh, just a ton, ton of fun. Friday was a blast. Then uh, on Saturday when we got there, I was starting to get really stressed. Um, I knew I had all the rest of the competition to do. And uh, the targets have to be turned in by 8 or 9 on Saturday, I think. Um, so, yeah, I was starting to get a little worried. And I was starting to get, definitely starting to tense up a little bit. So I ended up uh, kind of focusing on that the rest of Saturday. Um, or at least the first part of Saturday. And uh, I did, um, the next one I did was the expert, um, expert 10-yard target, which I actually have a video of. And uh, I'll show you that now.
And uh, I shot all right on that, you know, it was, it wasn't what I wanted, but, you know, it was, was what it was, you know, it, I was stressed and I pulled some shots and I just got unlucky on others. And, you know, I was happy to at least get the five in the, in the two inch bowl that I did. Um, I wish I could have gotten more, but you know, it happens and I'm hoping next year I won't be quite so stressed and I'll be able to be you know, a little bit more relaxed and to do a little bit better. Next one I did was the cans, the uh, speed can shoot. And uh, that one's really tough. Like it doesn't sound tough, but it is. And uh, you get one point for the first one. Um, you get a total of three points if you hit two. And then I can't remember what you get for three. I think for four, you get 10. And then if you get all five, you get 15 points. So it's kind of an equalizer a little bit. And it's actually really important to the scored part of the competition and you get 25 seconds so basically you get five seconds per shot assuming you don't miss and I went into it knowing that I wasn't a speed shooter and that I take a long time to aim and I knew I needed to take my time and to just make sure I didn't miss and at least hit three or four and I didn't do that <laughs> I rushed the first shot and uh, it was a little bit disappointing but you know I, I still did all right so I'll actually, I actually have a video from that as well, and I will show you that now. I mean, give them a map over here. here. Uh, uh, you can make those on your house. Uh, 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 I have to get them to put that in the mold. Uh, 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 that in the mold. Uh, 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 and then it's a single car. I can probably have some more put in the mold. So yeah, I ended up hitting two and that was really really disappointing to me but hey as I, at least I hit two you know I didn't I didn't completely uh, blow it and hit none so it it is what it is but I really wish I could have done better on that one that was completely mental I just I rushed that first shot when I didn't need to and uh, so I was a little bit frustrated at that point but uh, I was about to feel a little bit better I did a bunch of practice after that on the 25 yard and uh, that was, uh, I saved the 25 yard for the last because I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go and I don't normally practice at that distance. However, it's a big target and as Dan pointed out, um, it could be an easy 10 and I knew I needed it at that point. Just not because I was trying to win or anything, but just because I wanted to beat my score from last year and I, I just wanted to do well, you know? So I was, I was nervous, but I was also excited. I really wanted to redeem myself for uh, what I thought I had, you know, screwed up on in the previous paper targets, especially the expert and the cans. And uh, yeah, I think I did pretty well. I actually got the only 10 out of 10 on the 25 yard um, in the whole tournament. I don't think anyone else hit a perfect score on that. And I have a picture here put up on the screen now and I'm just smiling my head off. I couldn't believe I uh, actually did it. And that was, that was a highlight of the tournament for me. I feel like I redeemed myself and uh, faced the pressure and actually succeeded. So I was, that was just incredible for me. I was super happy and it was just awesome having having Dan and uh, my dad and uh, everyone there watching and cheering me on. And it was just, it was an incredible experience. So after that, uh, you know, the competition was over, the pressure was off and I felt great after the uh, 25 yard. I'll put up a picture of my final score and the targets on the screen now. Um, I got a 107, I was happy with that. I think I got a 104 last year and uh, anything over uh, 100 is a pretty decent score. I think the, max score is like 145 or something like that um so if you were wondering the placings were uh, in first place nathan masters with i believe a 131 
Second place, Travis Ambrosius with, I believe, a 128. Third was Dan Ambrosius with a 125, I think. And then Ray Shot was fourth with 123 or 121 or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quite sure. And then fifth was Bill Hayes with, I think, a 111. And then I actually tied with Matt Newman and Crazy Mike for sixth place with a 107. So that was really cool. And I actually got sixth place last year too, which was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, that was the uh, competition portion. It was, um, it was amazing. It was stressful, um, but it was, it was awesome. It was, I did, uh, I did well. I didn't do as well as I wanted to. Um, I didn't shoot as good as I had been in practice, I don't think. Um, but uh, I let the I let the stress get to me a little bit. But in the end, I I put up a good score, and I'm I was happy with that. So now that the competition was over and all the uh, stress was off my shoulders, I got to have uh, even more fun um, on Saturday afternoon. I think I finished up um, at like two or three Saturday afternoon, and then the whole rest of the day was just playing, um, which was awesome. So, uh, um, Alex actually brought one of his eight foot, um, kangaroo leather bull whips and actually let me crack it, which was incredible. Um, like I can't even express how amazing that whip was. Um, and uh, I actually have a video of it, a really short video, and I'll play that for you guys now. There you go. Yeah, I'm going way too. There you go. I'm going too early because it's yep. like it takes yep. so much longer to. Yeah, that's a little denser than the nylon too, so it's a little slower that way also. So yeah, that was another highlight of the uh, whole event. That was just absolutely incredible. Like that's just amazing, uh, amazing feeling to be cracking a whip like that. It's it's literally just pure energy in your hands and it's just that was incredible so i hope you guys enjoyed that clip um, i know i enjoyed uh cracking that thing that was incredible so thank you so much alex for letting me do that and uh then later we went we actually went back to the woods course um and we're shooting cicadas like <laughs> for like a solid hour and that was a blast that was so much fun um we had a great time doing that, and uh, I went back through the through the actual metal targets and, and shot those again, and that was fun as well. Just uh, going back through them and and uh, seeing what I could do now that the pressure was off, and uh, there was some legitimately hard shots in there, and I was very happy going back through it to have got a twenty six because there was some there was some hard stuff, and I got lucky on a on a couple of shots, but uh, yeah, that was. That was a lot of fun going back to the woods course. It's something I had meant to do the year before, but I never got to. So I was really happy to be able to do that. And uh, after that, just a lot more shooting, a lot more playing, and practicing a little for the Eagle Eye the next day. And yeah, the rest of Saturday was just a blur. Just tons of fun, lots of shooting, just having fun with good friends, and just a great time had by all. And then uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, Got up a little early to uh, get there by eight or nine. I can't remember exactly when. And we did the, and uh, Sunday we have the Eagle Eye, the Dennis the Menace shoot, and the raffle, which are all really cool. So I think we started with the, uh, we started with the Eagle Eye actually. Yeah, I think we started with the Eagle Eye. And uh, so if you don't know what the Eagle Eye is, it's you get one shot and a little orange dot. And if you hit that, you move on to the next round. And if you miss it, you're out. So that one's super stressful. I ended up missing it along with most of everybody else. Only four people hit it, I think. And it's not a hard target to hit either. It's like a good three or four inches from 10 yards. But it's it's really just the stress of only having one shot. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to hit that. But uh, I, was, I was happy to be done with the competition. And I didn't want to put too much stress on, on myself again to actually hit that. So... So that went by quick. Not many people actually hit it. 
I think there was, I think everyone else was thinking pretty much the same thing as me. Um, pretty done with the competition aspect of it. But that's that's always fun. I think uh, I think Toolman won that, and uh, so that was a good time. Then we did the Dennis the Menace rock shoot. I think we did that before the raffle, and uh, that's a lot of fun. That <laughs> basically is what they do: is they hang a toilet seat, and then they hang a can in the middle of it, and it's a rock shoot. So uh, with natural forks. So you you cut a natural slingshot. You put bands on it and you shoot rocks and uh that's that's always fun i wasn't planning on doing it this year because i flew in and i actually don't have a natural with me or i didn't but uh trapper D's or trapper des i'm not sure quite how you pronounce it uh danny was kind enough to lend me his so i ended up shooting it and i uh, ended up shooting hitting uh two out of five times i hit the can which was kind of crazy since i don't shoot rocks but uh that's always fun by the end, the toilet seat was completely obliterated. There was pretty much nothing left of it. And uh, the raffle's always fun. Um, basically, you, you put something on the table, and it's almost like a trade. Um, again, I only brought basically the shooters I was going to shoot in the tournament, um, the slingshots I was going to shoot. So I didn't really have anything to give. Um, so I ended up putting a $10 bill up. And uh, I just picked up some some bands from that. I didn't, I didn't feel right about taking a slingshot. Um, just because I didn't, I didn't really have anything to give, but that's always fun. And uh, after that, that was pretty much the the end. Um, they just did the awards for first, second, and third place for Nathan, uh, Travis, and Dan, and uh, they got their trophies. And that honestly was uh, pretty much the end of the tournament. People started packing up and leaving. Um, I made sure to I did the rounds a couple times, making sure I got to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, then the, the last clip I have from the whole event was actually me and Randy um, doing uh, or juggling back and forth, which was really fun. I didn't know he juggled, um, but I guess I was talking about it or something. Uh, I think I got out my juggling balls. And, uh, and so he asked if I wanted to do some passing with him. So uh, I'll show you that clip now. And yeah, that was a ton of fun. And after that, uh, I just said goodbye to everybody and and uh, was already, I was so hyped up, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> I wanted to stay the rest of the day and shoot, but everything was getting torn down so I had to leave and uh and yeah it was just it's so uh bittersweet saying goodbye to those guys because it's it's like you know you you know you're not going to see each other again for like a whole nother year and it's just some of my favorite people on the entire earth I mean these guys are just so incredible such great people and I just uh it's just so bittersweet having to uh say goodbye to them all again but it's totally worth it to get to see them, even if it's only once a year. And it just, it's an incredible event. It was incredible getting to see you all. And uh, I'm already counting down the days till the next one. I also want to say a special thank you to Dana Burgess, Nathan Masters, and Ray. They were just an incredible help to me and an incredible support um, going through the competition. And it was just such a pleasure getting to talk to all three of you guys. And I just can't thank you enough for all of your help. And I can't wait to see you again next year. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a like or a comment if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos coming every other Tuesday. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.